hate to break the fishing news up, Ramchuk, but I'd like to speak about the ice hockey. Congratulations. You're one of the 13 listeners of the Real Life Podcast. We just traded a migraine in for like an orgasm. You might want to mark that down. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All of my projects are on schedule until they're not. A member of the Nation Network of Podcasts. About as funny as we're going to get today. Real Life Podcast brought to you by Will Hawk Beef Jerky. Only the finest tasting meat products are in the Will Hawk name. Made from 100% pure Alberta beef. Will Hawk Beef Jerky is aged, seasoned, marinated, and smoked to savory perfection. Get your jerky on. For more info, go to willhawkbeefjerky.com. Sean, would you got booze in that drink? Maybe. <laughs> can not deny or confirm. You can only have it during the front half of the podcast. Back half, got to be booze free now. Okay. Why? What happened? We're Olympic? working on IOC. We're working on moderation. Moderation? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. We have (laughs) rules we got to follow. It is a Thursday. Football Thursday. Hell yeah. I made a master little bit of negotiating today in my household. Okay. Amber was like, there's a big- It was a give and take. A little give and take. She goes, there's a massive sale on at Ikea. I really want to go. I was like, okay. She was like, we need this, It always costs us money, doesn't it? I know. But she goes, we need this, this, and this. And I was like, okay, we can go tonight as long as we go right after work. Yeah. And then I, there's a brewery I want to try odd company and it's south of the river when you live in st albert you only go south of the river if you have two reasons to go you do not go for one reason so i said we can go to ikea but then i want to go watch thursday night football at the new odd company little home depot don't know if we'll have time mm. little frank the tans a nice little night you got going on can i guess what you needed at ikea okay one of those super long shoehorns mm-hmm. <laughs> three tea lights a single mason jar and an ottoman no. Can I guess? Sure. Is it furniture or is it furniture. a sex accessories? Uh, accessories. Sex accessories? Sex accessories. accessories. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to Ikea for that. Or. Or. Uh, you've hey, just seen a flume flaw. The Swedes are kinky. Mm-hmm. There's a private door somewhere in what the building. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing hotter than building a billy book. It's got a together. thousand tubes of lube in it. <laughs> you can buy anything you want. Uh, no, it's furniture. What, what I want to know about that is how long did it take to acquire? One but hour. Here's the thing. If you're having kinky parties and you need 10 bottles per party, you're not just going out and buying 10 for that party, 10 for the next party. You shop the sales. You're, yeah, you think you're buying that a pallet. Got rich, wasting all his money on lube. Do you go to... It's called good spending. It's called responsibility. But do you go to like a wholesaler and be like, listen, yes. you got a guy at that point. You got to have a guy. Yeah. You buy direct. You you're can't. You're saving significant money. You can't just go to a shopper's drug mart and clear out the no. shelf once a week. No. Do you think do you think Diddy had a fork? He bought a forklift just to unload the pallets yeah. of lube he was yeah. buying? Oh, there's no way he's handling it. He definitely is a setup guy. Yeah. It's less embarrassing to go and buy a thousand bottles once than go and buy one <laughs> bottle one thousand times. Because you're like, hey, I need a thousand bottles of lube. And they're like, well, clearly this guy has got it's- a commercial application for what he's doing. It's not what I'm thinking. It's like when you get a quote for something at your house and it's like a thousand bucks. Let's say it's a landscaping thing. And you're like, I could buy a chainsaw and three shovels and all the tools it would take to do it. And then I would always have them. It's just responsible. It's just, it's efficient Mm -hmm. with your money. It's thinking ahead. So the piece of furniture that I think that you need at your house is a new TV hutch. Ooh. Actually, relatively close, but not quite. Okay. All right. I want to guess. Yep. If it's close to a TV hutch. Is it a painting of a duck with an umbrella? It's a piece of furniture. So that would be in the Finally, accessories category. One I of think. those like china cabinets for your collection of porcelain dolls you've been working yeah, on. Your babies, mm. you call them. Yeah. Educated guess. Good. <laughs> your, <babies>. your spoons? <laughs> no. Um, it's like a tall wardrobe. Here my babies. A tall wardrobe, like a yeah. PAX unit. Yeah, sure. They are literally called PAX are units, they? if that's yeah, what you're... Just a and tall, some, skinny Maybe wardrobe. some drawers at the bottom with a cloak with... It'd be like the size of this door, roughly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bagmo, did that. you know that Prince Andrew has, like, porcelain dolls that he insists the, the royal housing staff arrange so he wakes up in the morning, he can see them all, mm. even as a grown man? Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely not weird. No, not at all. My Suddenly. mom used to have, be one of those ladies that had all the porcelain dolls. They in love her, like, it. Basement. Like on a shelf? Oh yeah, super high, but like yeah, on like, chairs too and stuff. Like like they're. Yeah, she had like a uh, like a bookshelf where they were nicely organized. And you I want to tread lightly out. here because you you just said that your mother did this. Yeah, but yeah, I often go into people's houses to give them quotes, and when I see that, price goes up. I start looking for cats. <laughs> 
Yeah, no cats. Ah. No cats. The price goes up. I just... She I, doesn't do it anymore, to be fair. Okay. I wonder what but started. It was How did phase. it start? Well, I think that where she bailed was we couldn't stop making fun of the dolls. Right. Mm. That's where my mom was at, too. She used to... God, they're like not porcelain, but like there are these little angels that. Yeah, they love that babies. shit. Yeah, no, no, they were like little angels. They had no faces. Okay. <laughs> but they were just like <laughs> creepy. Uh, they were like some sort of faceless angel. Well, like how old do you think Amber's got to be before she pivots into her faceless dollar? Oh, yeah. Oh, I just wish Tyler will bring her to that. Point. I wish my grandmother was still around so that I could ask her when these things. The slippery slope of her becoming a spoon lady was. Oh, no. Faceless <clears throat> Yeah, those were angels. very weird. My mom oh, used to buy them all the time. We had to ridicule her, and then she took them down. My, my grandmother used to have those plaques that are like the size of, you know, maybe like two feet by two feet, and they'd be a plaque, and they would have little, and you'd hang your little individual spoons in there from everywhere you yeah, went. Yeah, we had those. My grandma she would have that. like three of them, and I'm wondering, like, did she buy one or get given one? And she was like, next time she went on vacation, she saw another one and spoon then all of a sudden a it was thing, like though, be became it, a spoon that thing point, that's what yeah. i'm wondering do one day you look around and you're like what have i done because i can but see spoons like are big they're in airports and shit my grandma collected them i know but like spoons is such a weird thing in the sense of like it's decorative but it's a spoon like fridge magnets it's like okay but put it on your fridge spoons I like are way stickers. higher class I like, than magnets chamo i know I, they're higher class but like when i travel i would re- like I'd turn into a magnet guy because for a while I was a shot glass guy. How many shot glasses? You know we have a magnet fridge here, right? Of course. Yeah. Okay. yeah. If you go anywhere good, bring back a magnet. For Do you know my brother-in-law's family has a lot of? Or would be cool. For the fridge, though. Oh, well, there's nature fridge in the hallway. Oh, yeah. In Mexico, they'll take license plates and a whole bunch of different license plates and they'll slice them up by the letter and then they'll put a whole bunch of different areas, license plates together and like spell something. Yeah. And you can get them custom made. They're very nice because they, you say like Jair's bar or something like that, right? I thought those were cool, but like the trinket market, man, it's a it's got to be hefty billion dollar industry. Some say must people be. love tchotchkes. They do. Yeah, it stresses me out. I took Wanya Junior to Toys R Us the other day, and like the gifts that are there, like what are those little bobbleheady deals? Bobbleheads, Funko Pops. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Oh, but really big like heads. Game of Thrones season nine ones. I just sale. bought one. I will say I have a few of them. I have a few of them. Any, Game any of Thrones athlete. ones? No, I Season just bought seven? a uh, Justin Jefferson, actually. Any athlete I like, I'll buy their Funko Pop. Well, shit like that stresses me out because I go in, I'm like, no one on earth wants to buy this. <laughs> oh, buddy. I, I have friends who are like, like they have a lot of them. Season seven Game of Thrones? Oh, they're they're pretty much. I have two. Line. I have a, a Blink-182 set where they're all playing. Kind of fun. And then I bought a Justin Jefferson one. When I worked at a golf store in cool. town. I started working there when I was 14. I finished when I was 21. We had one women's set of graphite irons on the shelf the entire time. But Every yeah. year we do inventory, we're like, well, those haven't sold. And they were like $2,700 Yonix. And the rep like died and couldn't take them back. And we're like, well. <laughs> yeah, the the we one year do- they decided to make clubs, they were like a tennis racket company. Yeah, and Phil Mickelson was sponsored by the way. If you could do, there's one job that if I could do it and know that I would be successful, I would do in a heartbeat. Gravedigger? No, that's creepy. I don't Drive want to do that. Grave digger. No. Collect pogs. No. Only fan foot guy? A picker. I want to be an OnlyFans guy where I just like teach you to do something practical. And everybody's like, why are you here? But you're naked? Yeah. What do you mean a picker? So like, have you guys ever, I, I went through a little phase where I watched American pickers where they would go to people's houses who had. The one? Yeah. So you, you're basically like looking for antiques, looking for things. There's a lot of people that just live out kind of on acreages and they just hoard hoard stuff. They pack stuff. They go to flea markets. They're they're they, they consider themselves like antique collectors, but they're not organized enough to do anything with it. So they just stack it in a barn. Mm-hmm. And these two American pickers would go to their house, start looking through their stuff, pull out a bunch of the things they want, and then start to barter with it. And the things they would find like an old Coca-Cola sign from 1932 that hung on a building in that town. This guy, they were tearing down the building. This guy was there and said, Hey, I'd love that sign. They gave it to him for nothing. He put it in this barn and it sat there for 50, 60 years. And these guys go and find that shit. And then they go and like restore it and sell it for big money. And I just think I'm driving, I'm, I'm building houses, Outside of the city right now. And the one nice thing about that is I get to go on a drive every day. But I drive by a lot of places where I look and there's like 25 
old rusted out, but like not even rusted out, but good, in, in good shape, but just not taken care of like tractors that look like they're from 1940s. And then you look and the guy's got five outbuildings. You're just like, what is in What's there? In those, yeah. What's in Math those? Lab. I would think I would love to go through people's stuff. Cause I, I have gone to renovations where I go into the house and we, we, we look to either purchase or do this for a purchaser, but the house is, there's nobody to clean it out. There's a lot of stuff in it and you can tell it hasn't been taken care of for like 10 years. And it's, it's very, very interesting. I'm trying to find the name of the account I follow on TikTok, but it's something similar, a little bit different, similar where it's all they do is garage sale flips. Yeah. So they'll like go in and like find mugs or whatever and they'll buy the lot and then sell them all. Like the dudes that go and buy like storage units yeah. and then find a safe in it, get a safe cracker and you never know. That's, exhilarating if i could do that for a living i would love it those video jobs. it like i i don't even know where to start there's a there's an auction area out by jackfish lake and they started to line this field with stuff they were selling there's trucks there's trailers there's material there's pallets of like stuff that you can tell they had to repo or something and it's got put in this in this auction and i I was just, I couldn't help it. I'd driven by it like 10 times and I pulled in. It is like seven rows, probably a hundred yards each of just wild stuff. Cool stuff. Like kitchen equipment for a fucking commercial industrial kitchen. There's, I just find it so interesting. I could go through that stuff all day. I say you do it. I think you should mm-hmm. quit my job and just become a, a, no, a, a straight up professional just on picker. Fridays go be like you. You say yup really well too, like in the yep, yep. storage wars. Mm-hmm. Do it one day fake, a week. Though. Oh storage yeah, like that fake. guy. American pick is probably fake too. It's all fake, Tyler. Yeah, I think it's all fake too. But that's okay. But would you rather watch a real show or a real. good show? What's that? The dream is very real. Yeah, I, I'm embarrassed to say that treasure show. You know the treasure show of like the curse of Oak Island or something like this? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Have you never island? seen this? Yeah. No. Oh, so you don't apparently watch the, the Spanish channel. Armada buried some treasure just off Oak Island and it's like cursed and whatever. And they core these big holes and they'll find like this little piece of gold and they'll take them like, they'll see it. And they'll be like, we think it's here. The treasure's here. And like three episodes later, you're still like. Is it there? And you're like, where's my life gone? It's very you're like watching this fucking show. Where is my life? It's very much like Finding Bigfoot, that show. I feel like I know your answer to this, Chalmers. Yeah. How often do you guys just sit and flip through the TV channels? Never. 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 I do thought you mean maybe, like just aimlessly go? Yeah, just like, no. I wonder what's on right now. Never. Never. That's what I, guys are for, man. See, and I thought you were maybe someone who... No, I'm... pour yourself a drink and be like, let's see what's on the TV, guys. No, I have a plan, usually. I'm pretty efficient. I have my staples it's, that I always pop to. It's like, boom, boom, boom. I'd say it's pretty rare when I go to like Netflix, let's say, and this is how I found the Colin of Stallions thing is where I don't know what I'm going to watch. Really? Because Netflix is a nightmare for me. So, so just I, hold on. Before you go to talk about Netflix, you're telling me American Pickers is fake. I don't think it is. The one I just saw where they were in rural Kentucky and they found the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't real? And it, it, at the... It was the six boss minutes here? left in the episode. They realized the gold chain was worth 80 grand. Yeah. And they were just about to leave. And then all of a sudden, out the corner of his eye, he spotted the corner of something. And on Lisa the next two. episode, see what they found. That's a way better show than Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars, I found no. it's very exploitative. Yeah. People come in like they're running and looking over their shoulders and shit. They're like, I want to sell you Elvis's guitar. Like, how'd you get it? I don't got time for that. <laughs> I think, I, I think, oh, excuse me. I think I'd like to go to a sneaker fest because I get a lot of Instagram cool. algorithms. Where That'd like be cool. these Were they people bringing, are like, just on the list. These people are just bartering in their full, Nikes or whatever, yeah, and they're just like, full yeah. tables. And young Jeezy gave me these. I like, think no, just by watching it. it, I can tell what a real pair of Nikes look like. Knock you got to knock them, you fold them, yep. <laughs> then you got to smell them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he did the smelling. See, yep. you smell them, you fold them, you look at the bottom, you look at the emblems, you give them, a knock. and then you know right then and there if they're fake or not. I think I've seen enough videos I can at least fake it. But it's just the, the guy will walk up to a table and be like, uh, look at the table for three seconds. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking 10 grand. I'll buy the whole table. Mm-hmm. And dude's like, well, I was thinking more like 11, five. And you're like, wow, what, how is, what are we doing here? It's fake. Can we go through each one of these and like catalog them first and like look on stock X and see what they're going for. How do they just know it's a $10,000 table? When you're an expert in something. I guess so. You can always tell when the guys have fake ones because mm-hmm. they're f- on their phone. When they walk up, they put the box down and then they're on their phone like they don't care what the person's doing. 
That is a dead so giveaway. You are trying to say fake shoe. Yeah, oh yeah, no, all the time they just like they say I'm just not interested. And the guy, and then the guy, that's when the guy gets off his phone. Is like why? He's like you know I'm just I'm just not in the market for one of these right now. I'm just not interested. Or sometimes then, they'll like pull the shoe out of the box and they'll fold it and it's just whomp right in half and they go, yeah, put it back. No. Yeah. Interesting. They still go through the whole thing. I don't think they want to disrespect people because people I think can get maybe a little out of hand, but yeah. like you can always tell if a guy brings a pair of shoes to a dude with a camera on him and he pulls it out of the box. If the guy goes straight to his phone and pretends like he's not engaged in that transaction, those shoes are fake. He's trying to hide the nerves, man. Mm-hmm. Trying to pull a sneaky one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that wasn't on your list of show prep. <laughs> oh, I thought it was next on my list. Oh, good. Okay, good. I find sneaker culture to be fascinating. <laughs> so do I. I am big time into Got Soul or whatever it's called, and like, it's sales guy Jared, big sneaker dude. Do you know what it's done to me? He though? wears so, them at least though. You like sales guy Jared? He has probably 30, 40 pairs of Jordan ones at his house. So. Crazy. They, there's a girl that goes around on one of these things and she interviews people. And the one, and she always asks them different questions. Like if you meet a girl and she's wearing these shoes, what's the shoes she could be wearing for you never to talk? It's to always me? Air Force Ones. It's always pandas. There's a shoe called a panda. It's black and white Nike Air. It's a, it's a low and it's got like. Girls want us these, to wear these or we don't want girls to wear them. Uh, so if you ask any sneaker head, these pandas are the worst shoe because they're apparently so mass produced now. And so oh, yeah, those, yeah. somehow if I see somebody with a panda on, I'm like, oh God, <laughs> oh, because they've, because to me, those just like a standard <laughs> Nike see, off see. the shelf. It's yeah. So oh, loser. Wait. Oh my God. I swear to God. I have those. <laughs> Do you actually? Yeah, <laughs> no, those aren't the, those aren't legit ones. Those ones are, those, those are Nike these ESBs with the black. That's a panda. Oh, no, no, no. I have very similar ones. Though, but they're Nike No, that's ESBs. low dunk black and white. See, you're not even on it. Oh, it turns out my shoe. God damn it. And uh, the, the one where I always see that those. girls, you got no Riz if you got busted Air Force ones. What well, I don't like is the all white Air Force. Oh, that looks like you're. Those are so hot nurse. right now, though. Who do I know? Who gross, man. Right? Uh, all of my Rick nieces and nephews own those. Air Force ones. Single color Air Force ones. Every single one of my nieces oh, and nephews God. have a pair of Hold single color socks? white. Yeah. Go. Times they are changing. The socks thing I can't subscribe to. Too my high. son, my, I swear, the only thing that I like about my sons that they're not going into is that there's a lot of their friends that have, have you ever seen the guy making fun of the young hockey player with the, with the really like the hair that comes down and then it swoops out to the left mm. and the guy puts bananas on his head and he tapes <laughs> him to his head and he's doing the YouTube this. <laughs> there's these hey, two, it's a signature. There's these two, two kids and they are just kind of like, duck face looking cool to the music and they've got just the letty is flowing out the side of their hat and then this guy makes fun of them and it goes to him his wife's got actual lettuce taped to her head and he's got these giant bananas <laughs> taped yeah. to his head i don't even yeah, know if you could damn. youtube it uh, no just youtube i googled Two kids duck face looking cool to the music and they have the lettiest hair and the third Type video, in, third video down was 10 year old girl needs uh, got brutally bitten on a school bus. Type in <laughs> type in bananas for hair. <laughs> Did we say lettuce? Is that what you were saying, Charlie? Lettuce. They the call it lettuce. Word. Letty. Letty. They call it letty. They call their hair letty? Lettuce. Yeah, oh. for, for sure for lettuce, you I know. know. These kids got no time to spare. Letty. Bananas for hair. <laughs> bananas. Uh, bananas for extreme yeah. hair growth. Insane hair growth. Do not search you know what? that. This YouTube, this segment sucks. Yeah, it yeah. sucks. I was going to make it more organic. That one didn't work. <laughs> I'll send it to you guys. It'll come up on my algorithm now. Very good. These two now hockey. Google is R. Kelly innocent. <laughs> nah. Mm. Don't. That's going to be a laptop. You can't be getting it. Oh, oh yeah. You yeah. can't be Googling. Google, R. Kelly. where does Diddy go from here? Down. Legal <laughs> advice. Diddy. Ah, darn. He did promise in his appeal bid that he was not going to hang out with any females. <gasps> oh. That was, yeah, his bail application. He's his like, bail. I will not his hang out with any females. <laughs> yeah, his bail appeal. He's just and like, like <laughs> eight of his immediate family members have to will surrender their passports as a part of his bail. It's like, that's maybe not the best way to be like, I'm not that guilty. Being like, don't worry, everyone around me will surrender their passports. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, if you think you're having a bad day today, you could be the mayor of Fort Saskatchewan. Oh, kill the cats? Feral cats. Throw them in the lake in plastic bags. Or 
Hook it exhaust, up to the tailpipe. Exhaust pipes. Ah. Are you not allowed to do that? Um, you shoot feral cats. I think that maybe if you're going <laughs> to let everybody know that you're being sarcastic and that you have a sense of humor and that air quote, you might want to like <laughs> do a bunch of things before this. <laughs> My favorite part is she's at, clearly at like a city council meeting and she goes, I hope this isn't recorded or whatever she says. And it's like, what? This is the best promotional. Was it Fort Mac? Or was Fort Saskatchewan. Sask. Sask. The best promotional work Fort Sask has ever done. Yep. Um, we should bring in Pat Puff as since he lives there. Yeah, he's a taxpayer of Fort Saskatchewan. Yeah. Um, but he did say apparently there's a bylaw in Fort Saskatchewan. You can't have outdoor cats. If you have a cat, it stays inside your house. Or, or we're know. hooking or them I up guess, to tailpipes. Yeah, or they're hooking up to tailpipes. But anyways, that uh, that was pretty wild. When I saw that on Yegwave, I was just like, this isn't a real thing. She's like kind of laughing. I was like, uh. I don't know, man. This she's a, she, you can't do that. No, I don't. I don't know her. I don't know. She, yeah, do air quotes. I didn't know she was being sarcastic. Talk like this, all sarcastically. It definitely did not come across as sarcastic the way she was presenting the idea. She said, "Like back in the or back on the farm, we would just do this." And I get that. But you can't say you just. You know how hard it is to get your feral cat in a garbage bag. Give me a break. What a bunch of <laughs> one bullshit. of the best movies from like the 1950s was one where a beloved dog gets taken behind the woodshed and shot in the head. That's not going to play anymore. Mm. The littlest hobo. Old is Yeller. That longest ended? yard. An old Yeller. They shoot old Yeller. <laughs> don't they? Because it gets too old. Oh I don't know, I've never God. seen it. Is that true? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Cujo also got shot. Curtis Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Curtis Joseph's dead. Anyway, what are you buying at IKEA? I said a wardrobe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you watching? I found the video of these kids, and I wanted to play. Oh, it for you know you. what I'm sick. But now all of? that keeps coming up is was for some this reason. Oreos and milk bullshit with the Maple Leafs. All the O's going away. It was Oreo all along. Really? That's what it was. Fuck yeah, you, it, Toronto. How it does was that them sound? announcing that their jersey partner's Oreo and their. No, helmet partner, Oreo, yeah, jersey partner's milk. milk. And all the O's left Toronto because of Oreo, and that cost $47 million for the Smart. activation. To be fair, it got us talking about it, and no one's talking about Mitch Marner now. To be fair, I haven't bought an Oreos in forever. I like them. So, I don't mind an Oreo. I love them. They're Oreo smaller than you remember. That's what she said. <laughs> mm, you so Tom just showed you the video he's talking about. If you're under the age of 35, you will not find this video funny. Chalmers has kids. I think it's hilarious. Just look at how these two kids oh think God. they are so cool. Look at them. Look at that hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is just great. Tyler, you have no sense We're going to... That's your problem. <laughs> That's something my dad would send to my family group chat. Like, ah, look at the, what, oh my the, god! They really got these you're not kids. making fun of kids around the house all day long, seeing how hilarious <laughs> kids are. Chalmers, I just think it's fucking incredible. People are so clever on Instagram. <laughs> what? It's funny. <laughs> it's just funny. I don't know if I'd call that clever. Clever? That's hilarious. Charlie, they take vegetables to their head. Pretty to funny. make fun of these two kids who thought they were legitimately cool, like the Montana boys. Who are the Montana boys? Oh, my God. Talk to me. I also don't know who they are. I care only about the Island boys. The Montana guys. I wasn't ready to be done with the Island boys. So there's this trend on TikTok that the Montana boys made up. Where Who are the Montana boys? So they're four dudes that pretend they're cowboys, okay. but all they Santa really do boys. is look. They're like mid-20s, and they're jacked. They look like cowboys, and... They're good looking dudes, but what they do is they stand in a line one by one, single file, and they sing, I'm just one number away from calling you up, something, something. And they all sing one part of it. And they're like so serious, but they're lip syncing and they became famous from it. We've That's talked awful. about this. I hate that. It's awful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if you saw it, you that. would hate you, it even more. Heard that before? No, I just hate he's describing. I don't like it. It's awful. Why? You haven't seen it? No. You don't know you hate it. No, I would. YouTube yeah. it. <laughs> I'm watching a series of videos on TikTok right now where this guy, he walks up to anybody that has a little dog and goes, ah, oh, I love your German shepherd. <laughs> and it's so stupid that it makes me laugh because people get offended about their dogs. That guy was just named to the UN. Yeah. 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 General council. Mm -hmm. mm. Part of the caucus. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to see if uh, anything was good on my TikTok, but it's not. You got to run the show, bro. You yeah, know who's yeah. running her 15 minutes to a T? Is that Hawk to No, her podcast just got canceled. It got it did? canceled? It no. did? No, it didn't. Bye-bye. Wait, no, we really? only have one episode. Yeah. Canceled. Bullshit. Hawk canceled already. 
Who's per- T-shirt? Who did she get signed to? There's, I cannot see anything Come about on, this. Dollars. Her, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's canceled. I think you dreamt it with your lettuce hair guy. No, I just saw one picture where, that said this podcast no longer available. And the dude then wrote canceled. Ha ha ha. 50 minutes up. No. I did see nope. that. So I can't Lynch. find anything about it being canceled. Yeah. Because Donald Trump's it. appearance was canceled. I did see that the feedback Donald has been. Donald Trump was going to go on the Hawk to a girl's podcast. Yes. Oh, my God. At his rallies, plan. he's now like calling up random TikTokers. Who is? Trump is. This is a man that just wrote a tweet that said nothing but I hate Taylor Swift. <laughs> I like that Brittany Mahomes. She's a great girl, but <laughs> it's like, what are we doing? And now Brittany Mahomes is like, wait. My best friend, Taylor Swift. Uh, Mr. President, 15 minutes here on the Hawk to a Girls podcast. And after that, um, Long Daddy Long Neck's going to interview for 45 minutes. Uh, latest Talk to episode came out two days ago. It's still alive. You're thinking <sighs> of this photo here where the media was corrupted. Oh. And it got taken off early. Talk to a good Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, good day for a podcast. You want the title of the n- latest episode? Yeah. All caps. I told Granny about Hawk to a. Oh my God! Riveting. Hey, if there, <laughs> Cash Me Outside girl can make ninety-seven million dollars, why not watch? See, I wonder girl? if like that she's just she's delaying that. It's an step. on-ramp to later monetization. Yeah, yeah. I think that she was over under. Out. She's there in two years. Yeah. Under she she's smart. I think this was all planned out. <laughs> I think the interview was planned out. I think it was all planned on her podcast. <laughs> we were laughing so hard about this in uh, the office. This is the timestamps from a six minute stretch of the episode. If you have kids, maybe cover your of the Hawk to episode to talk for to the it. next yeah. Yeah. <sighs> for the next like, minute. Just skip ahead. 3240. Decorating your vagina. 3255. Where does Haley stand with Pookie? 3733. Shit on that thing. And then 3850. Haley brings knives to the airport. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Have you ever actually had something in your bag because like, you took it to like a camping trip and no. then no. Uh, okay. no, and the only reason why is I have separate bags that I take to the airport mm. and I would take camping. But like, how do you cover that much ground in six minutes? That's podcasting. Good for her. I mean, we've covered. You gotta rip through. Yeah, you just gotta go. You gotta gotta move quick. Granny, you know I'm famous. Spit on that thing. She goes. I did that. Oh, next episode. Topic Boom, done. Next. Moving on. Episode of Jake Paul. Boom, next. Now we're interviewing Gandhi. Now we're interviewing Kofi Annan. Good God. My favorite thing, and I have to like, I thought Dave Portnoy's line about that podcast was hilarious, where he goes, I just want her to invite me so I can turn her down. That's (laughs) really all I want in life. He did say that. I do respect it. Invite me so I can say no. Uh, What else do I have here? Uh, Oilers training camp is open. I watched Oilers Nation every day yesterday. I'm well versed. Preseason kicks off on Sunday. Preseason kicks off Sunday, which is wild. Um, I again, I joke eight for the preseason show. games though. Again, that's messed up. I said maybe I should have known that Twitter wouldn't be able to handle a joke this time of year. <laughs> so I tweeted this morning. I said might start tweeting a bunch of insane overreactions to the line combos from training camp, and then I tweeted Nuge McDavid Hyman the same line that couldn't get the job done in Game Seven. For fuck's sake, this organization will never learn. And people kind of understood that one was a joke. But then I also tweeted pairing nurse with Emerson, some guy who a bottom feeder traded for Cody sees he gets gifted top four minutes. This organization will never learn. And oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Ending it. We'll know it's a joke when you write. Right. Like I thought that would this be, organization will never learn. I thought people would get it. Mm, I got Ooh. it. Oh, God. No, people did not get it. I'm being called an idiot. Left, right, and center. <laughs> Someone commented and said rent must be due. I don't get paid from Twitter. Say rent free in your head, son. Yeah. Um, but there but are that means hockey's back, baby. We're yelling about line combos already. All right. I'm shocked that you don't find X to be a welcoming place. Yeah. No. $18 shocked. beers. This organization will never learn. <laughs> oh, that'll be a good one. But that people, yeah. line combination is a funny thing to troll because they don't last more than 30 seconds. I don't understand why people want to talk about line combinations all the time. Well, like again, I keep getting asked like in the comments on the show, why why do you think Skinner's not starting with McDavid? It's like, what are you what are we talking about? It's so an 82 eight, game yeah. season. Last night we finished uh, men's night golf and we're sitting around the, at the table and we're talking about hockey and the question gets posed, who's in the fourth line of the Oilers again? And they ask me like I'm going to know that. Well, you're on the podcast. Swell. Well, yeah, what well, I still don't you're know authority. that. So where would I go? Daily face-off line combos. Pod Colson, Perry, Ryan. Figured that out real quick. 
But then I start looking at the whole thing. Now, if you were talking to somebody who didn't know who, is it Ty Emerson? Yep. Let's just say somebody in this room didn't know who that guy was and where he came from. How would you explain that to me? Three or four hands went up. The only one who looked incredulous <laughs> yeah. was Tyler. Only, or was acquired in the Cody CC trade. Okay. Oilers traded CC in a third round pick for him. Okay. 24 years old. Sure. Played in 30 NHL games. Okay. His numbers last year with San Jose were very good. Shut down defensemen. Very good shut down defensive metrics. So we like him. We do. His, there was a We're mo- excited. There was a model that assigns like... Expect- Supermodel? Mm-hmm. Expected cap it value to players. And they said in the 30 games of San Jose, Emerson played like a $5.8 million shutdown. Defenseman. Whoa. That's a lot of money. You hear what, about we this? Pay- what are we paying him? 900K. Hello. <laughs> I love a deal. Yeah. You hear so about this supermodel Emerson. valuing NHL players? Mm-hmm. It's a good show. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's Emerson. Starting on a pairing with Nurse. Which is good because some would say Nurse needs a good I partner. thought Nurse plays with A good home. shutdown defenseman. Calms it all down. No, I call him with Bouchard, of course. Never mind. Is that actually going to stick, do you think? Uh, I think Stetcher's better with Nurse and Emerson's better with Kulak. But I've barely seen any of them play. In the category of not getting the joke. Yeah. Did I miss something <laughs> in the Edmonton Oilers doing those first day of school chalkboards? I think those are funny. Was that a joke or were they being serious or was it like supposed to be? My favorite was finding out that Derek Ryan was in his 102nd year and (laughs) made his first stick out of a tree, (laughs) cut down himself. I have never... Oh, I it crippled me. What do you mean? You're somebody somebody edited it. Does me edited yeah, yeah. Derek Ryan's thing, and the answers were there. We was, all had a good laugh. Really? Oh, that's good. I was they didn't see the that the Photoshop and editing of a lot these of people was thought they were real. I mean, Connor and a Leon one. A lot of people thought they were real. I am 107 years old. This is my 108th <laughs> training camp. My favorite player growing up was Marie Richard. The one that killed me. My go-to snack is prunes. <laughs> what old people eat? But also. <laughs> You know, on a serious <laughs> note, I think if we were to scroll through there, nine or ten of the Oilers said their favorite snacks were granola bars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, what oh, was that? Derek Ryan, though. Why Protein was bar was harsh. about the p- p- most perfect answer for him. <laughs> Yogurt parfait. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. I'm just reading your McDavid one. I am immortal. <laughs> My favorite player. Me, bitch. <laughs> Have you seen that guy on TikTok who does like blind rankings of things? And then he always has to go one second while I adjust my $1,500 Cartier frames. <laughs> Have you seen that guy? <laughs> is this a YouTube this section no. segment? <laughs> oh, he's, I got to show you guys some of his videos. He is YouTube, so much. Is this your segment, John? TikTok yeah. now. Yeah, find the fifteen hundred dollar Cardia frame scale. What'd you do for Leon? Well, Waz came in here. My go-to stack is one hundred twelve million dollars <laughs> USD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that is just good stuff. Uh, see, that's see, you're clever as fuck. Like the guys that put bananas on their heads. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I feel like Leon's entered a new era now where he's just like, well, everybody, I'm the highest paid player in the league. It's time to hear some jokes. Like this guy's doing stand up comedy now. He's very rich and very handsome. So awesome. are we chom in or chom out on this chalkboard idea? I'm so chom, I'm chom in, in on it. I said okay. we should do it here at the nation. Like yeah. first day of school chalkboard shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of funny. funny. I mean, it's a little overdone now because like everyone does it, but I think it's like a good way to give people a breakdown. So I said the day before the season starts, we should do like everyone in the company. So people will be like, hey, here's who's running away this nation and like show people the behind the scenes works. Because I do also think there is a large section of people who consume our content who still think there are like six of us that work here and that's it. Yeah, no, there isn't. I think if you were to tell people like how many different parts of the operation there, there are just with Oilers nation, never mind like all the other companies, they'd probably be pretty surprised. My favorite meal is going to be beef jerky and a Zen <laughs> boy lunch, boy dinner. Mm-hmm. Delightful cigar and a blitz. <laughs> Smoking a smoking crepe. a pancake. <laughs> smoking a pancake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's your classic Austin Power joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your Faja. <laughs> I, I watched Gold Member the other day, and by God, is that a good movie? That it's crazy how the movie. comedy's oh. changed so much. Eh? What did you say? Your Farger? <laughs> no, I said Faja. I'm Dutch. <laughs> I got an accent. <laughs> Isn't fuck. that weird? <laughs> Isn't that weird? Uh, how okay, about a no? common line in my house like often said is you really are a fat bastard <laughs> I hope my wire fighting team is ready <laughs> it's just the best movie man everything hits and I was watching it with my sons and when Fukumi and Fukuyu came in oh did they like that Fukumi. thought that was quite funny mm-hmm. uh, parents earmuffs for the kids right now mm-hmm. skip ahead a minute 
My 13-year-old son and my 11-year-old son and my wife went for a walk through the ravine. And they, Did they get the spray out again? No, they didn't. But my 11-year-old son's been sick for a bunch, so we need to get him out of the house. But he's been wearing his one-piece wolf pajamas. Okay. And my 13-year-old son looked at him and said, you look like a furry. Ooh. Yeah. 13 year olds <laughs> picking up on that language. And I went, what? In what way do you that. know what that means? I didn't know if he did. Couldn't tell. Was nervous. What do we think of that, boys? Uh, you monitor their internet pretty well, don't you? Don't give them anything. Like, so like you picked it up organically. I think that means at it's a school social thing. Probably. The kids still gather in the schoolyard in a ring and tell each other what they've learned in life. Because when <laughs> I, I was know. a kid, we would do that. Mm-hmm. Remember, you'd gather, and then one old kid would be like, "I don't think the tooth fairy." But I'm curious, real. though, like at his age, what level of furry that's, does he know? That's yeah. and I'm not about to ask that. Is question. he just like thinking about like like if he saw a hunter, he'd be like, "Ah, furry." You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't think question. you need to be worried about it. I think there's I'm not. I just, I just was like, this is bizarre because we don't get many social media. Where he all of a sudden he comes up and he's like, Daddy, how's the tail attach? And then all of a sudden it's a different conversation. <laughs> oh, God. No, that's a fair question. <laughs> it was weird. How does the tail attach? Yeah. Yeah. Should I put this in the timestamps for Pat to make a clip out of? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, can't wait. Pat, Pat Puff with the most unfortunate last name going yeah. right now. Yeah, Puff. I'm going to change that. Tough look. Tough break. Pat Puff Diddy. Mm-hmm. Oh, can we call him that now? Oh, no. Oh, I don't think he'd like that. No. Office nickname on his chalkboard. It'll uh, say Pat Puff Diddy. <laughs> oh, he's easy going enough that he would not complain about it, but I don't think One day when you're it. not watching. Oh, it, see, and you know start. what? If he was like around all the time when we were best buddies, I think it would have already become his nickname's just Lube. Yeah. Makes sense. Does. There's always like there's always like four uh, or five steps to get to your the old better collective HR here on that one past <laughs> Could call him You have Lube. a Zoom call at 9 a.m. tomorrow, Chalmers just came through. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, not much. gonna be here for it. Mm. All in good fun. That's our disclaimer. Everyone's in on the bit. Do we have to get serious pretty soon for a bet three six five segment? Uh yeah, we do, but first we're gonna step aside for a quick break. Quickly, for our friends at Bet365, the number one sports betting platform globally, download the app today. Use the promo code OILYBONUS to get in on a huge range of markets, whatever the sport, whatever the moment. It is never ordinary at Bet365. The Edmonton Elks are home on Saturday. As you know, this is now firmly an Elks podcast. They are one-point underdogs against the West-leading Winnipeg Blue Bombers. New bet. We looped in the business daddies to also be by. One's from Chicago, one's from Toronto. They are both in on the Elks to win the Grey Cup. And... If they get to the Grey Cup, all four of us are going to Vancouver. Oh, is, am I out on it? Five of us. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I might be out on it. They might have pushed me. Not looking good, Ty. Nope. As someone who started the whole thing. Yeah, if I'm being honest, but, I kind of forgot Jay. Uh-oh. Yeah. Eh, no, that's okay. Oh. Yeah, so we're going to go to Vancouver to collect our money. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, 28 to 1, Chalmers. I'm gonna I know. On that one. I I'm gonna couldn't believe it. it. Are we going to do our usual Oilers bet or what's going on? We're a yeah, full Elks we gonna, podcast yeah. here. When do you want to bet it? You already did it. You did it like a month ago. Well, I've already played several. <laughs> Are the Oilers to win the cup? Yeah. I like to watch the odds bop around. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So we already did that? Uh, you and I did not know. Tyler, we have to, yeah. We have a discrepancy? What? You're claiming we already bet. I do I, not I have a, it. I do not have it. Tyler doesn't bet, bet on the Oilers until after at least the first couple of weeks in hopes that we go... <laughs> The idea is a couple of losses to start off the yeah. season to juice up that go plus one 800. And, one and two, one and three, and then let those odds go way down. And I'll wait for someone to blow out their knee, and then everything. Oh panicking. Jesus! Oh Tyler! Yeah, knock on wood. I was just thinking like one of those rusty losses, you know? Yeah. Uh, quickly to wrap it up for Bet Three Six Five Thursday, Thursday night football. Here is my same game parlay, Chalmers. If you got a problem with any of this, let me know. Maybe no, but I have one in my head that I I, I I know is a lock of the night. I'm going. I'm, I'm keeping it a little bit safe on a couple of fronts, but Jalen Polk of the Patriots, I like his receiving line, 19 and a half. He's a good young receiver. I am taking the Jets, but teasing it down to minus two and a half on the spread. I think they can win, but maybe not by a full touchdown. Um, the Patriots are a pretty scrappy team. And then rushing and receiving yards, I am taking the over on Brees Hall, 96.5. That's the risky one, but it comes up to plus 350, courtesy of our friends at Bet365. What do you like for the football game tonight, Charles? Brees Hall, either. So anytime touchdown is a lock. Brees Ooh. Hall, anytime touchdown, lock. That's the Chalmers lock. Yeah. Brees Hall, first TD of the game Ooh. would be plus five a real juicy one for me. 
Yeah, I don't hate that actually. I think that not worried about Braylon Allen. Well, I am a little bit worried about him getting vultured. Not till later in the game. I think that the Jets are going to go up like 14 3. And then it'll two, one of the first touchdown is probably going to be Brees Hall. And or yeah, Brees Hall. And then the second one, maybe a Lazard throw, whatever. But then they're going to start running Brees and Braylon together. That's my game script. I'm sticking to it. Clock, yeah. Yep. Just a burn a ton of clock. And I, I figure that this game's going to be under. It's probably going to be like 21, 21, 10, something like that. Yeah. It's going to be a low scoring game and it's going to be a boring one. The first quarter is probably going to be the most exciting. And if it's not, Hey, we're wrong. The only thing I'd say about 21, 10, I think maybe it might be a little bit higher. Like 21, 17 is just that. I don't think the Titans offense is that good. And they put up some points on the jets. Not a lot, but like more than 10. I think maybe we could see a bit more scoring. I'd, yeah. I'd be okay with like under 40, but I wouldn't go. I think the line. I think right Jets are is, hitting their stride. Yeah. I think I think this is the hit the stride game. Primetime Thursday night. I don't think that Rogers liked the way that the first primetime game went for him. Fair. I think he's going to be super motivated. I also think that the Patriots have kind of like, kind of like Cinderella in a way. I think they might be, clock might be strike at midnight. Yeah. So that's what I think. I don't know. Could be right. Could be wrong. Thursday night football talk for our friends at bet three, six, five. Let me just quickly bring that one. Yeah, I know you got something, but I want to give an update on what's happening in the real life. Uh, fantasy football <laughs> tournament. I got a big win over Rogers mustache, 140 to 88 highest scoring team in the league last week. What do you know about that? Uh, both of these beat Mercs. Iceman Cometh beat Harry Paratestes. That's me. I like lost. The, I sucked. Uh, Kissing Cousins took down Tua Legit to a quit, which hmm, maybe you should quit. Hot Chub Time Machine lost to Connor McChubb. Mahomes and Mundair, Ayuk Tua on that thing, got the win in that matchup. <laughs> so Brady the Goat lost pretty bad to Oil Alave. So I'm one and one. Chalmers is 0 and 2. Yep. Big time. Yikes. Big time. Uh, you haven't even changed the name Brady the Goat yet, Begmo. I can't get in. Buddy. It's given me issues. I sent it to you. I know you did. You can't do and it on I the app or your phone. Got to do it on a desktop. That's the problem. Every time I'm trying to do it on my phone. It's nine. No, do it on the desktop because it's a $13 billion industry run by the NFL and they don't put a single solitary cent into their app. They have the worst. It is the app. worst technology I have ever seen in my life. You cannot get the desktop version on your phone. It works one out of 10 times. It's embarrassing. That's the problem. I tried to do it twice on my phone. You and gotta eventually do it I get la- the point where I'm just like, mm, do I'm it from over. the lapper. Got to do it from the laptop. Do it from a lapper. lapper. All right. Yeah. The lapper. One, what were you going to have? I was going to get you to look up a futures bet for me. Okay. Sure. Bet there's five. Uh, Bryce James. That's LeBron James kid that has glasses. Bronny Bryce. Okay. The younger the one. The younger one. The one that, okay. The taller one. Uh, is he? Yep. Oh, just what's the odds he's goaded? Just wondering, Tyler, if you could look up. Oh, you like Bronny James? That's too old for me. That's a. I'm a Bryce James guy. Is Bryce James also going to make the Lakers? 2028. Is he actually supposed to be good? Yeah, better than Bronny. They don't have a future for that. They don't. Shout out to our friends at Bet365. Can't bet an 11 year old to be the GOAT? <laughs> wow. Moving away from that. Aw. Um, very excited to throw this one out to the group. Starting to think Robin Leonard's in a bit of trouble here. Okay. A fucking snake farm. Did you laugh when I put that in the group chat? Of course I did. Me and Tyler were together uh, when it went. I you way. don't think the snakes got him, do you? At the snake <laughs> farm into the real life chat. <laughs> Your quote, I got to feed these snakes, then get to camp and then falls into snake pit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was thinking we should start a group chat and let <laughs> listeners join it. Because a lot of times if we were like to try hard and be funny in that thing, you could join the Oilers Nation discord. <sighs> really? Yeah, it's unsanctioned. So. No. Can I share some breaking news with you? Hmm. China Zoo farm. forced to admit the truth about one of their pandas started panting and barking. The Shenhua Zoo admits they painted dogs white and black to make them look like pandas. Who's falling? The zoo for this? initially yeah, never tried claiming before? that the dogs were a unique breed of panda called panda dogs. It was later discovered that the pandas were actually chow chows dyed white and black. Chow chows look nothing like what pandas, are we way. doing? Look at this. Charles, I'm still stressed out that you told me that my Nikes are the most mocked <laughs> Nikes of all time. I'm yeah, you got next week, and you tell me if I can't wear these to the junior high dance. First comment this is going to cause pandemonium. There it is. <laughs> 
Shit. Once again, <laughs> under 35, you rolled your eyes. Over 35, you had to pause the podcast because you're laughing so hard. Don't bump me into this group. <laughs> yeah, I'm also older. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying him enjoying himself. Oh, it's just so good. Um, I think if you go to a zoo and you are tricked thinking that the dogs are actually pandas, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, like... <laughs> How how many comments in do you think it gets political? <laughs> four, three, <laughs> three, five, <laughs> five. Over under four and a half. It was five. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. That ruined that. So we're good on the Leonard thing. Wow. Okay. So he didn't come to camp. But like he just they're didn't looking at, show up for five point five million now. dollars. Like who doesn't show up for five point five million dollars? Especially when you got a snake farm to run. It's also the most Vegas Golden Knights thing ever to be like, God, I got this Albatross contract sitting on LTIR. Oops, he disappeared. Oh, look at that. He didn't show up. I guess we're out of it. It's like, what the fuck? The Ma- owner said to sit with Oscar Clefbaum on LTIR for six seasons or something like that. Bag milk. Yes. Maybe he's gotten so good at snake farming, he doesn't need the NHL money Prolific. Anymore. Over the summer, he turned Can it we, around. In a real Cliff Notes version, in 20 words or less, Tyler, what... Is this backstory on Robin Lerner again? 20 words or less. Goalie for the Golden Knights. <laughs> got in trouble with the bikers. You only got 16 no. words left. Okay. 15. Started a snake farm. Eight. Yes. Debt. Yep. Injury. <laughs> Where was funding from the snake farm? Mm-hmm. Okay, Salary. that's not a word. That's not a word. Uh, uh, made 50 million in NHL, lost 165 million on snake farm. Allegedly, in our opinion. Um, lost a lot in snake farm. Can't play hockey. Bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. <laughs> didn't show up to camp to do his medical. No 5.5 million. May lose 5.5 million. Status of snake farm unknown. I'd show up pretty much anywhere for $5.5 million. Yeah, not a lot of places I wouldn't go for $5.5 million. I'm if you offered me $5.5 million, I will go. There's. I can't think of one thing I would say no to. A diddy party? I'm in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bring the lube. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I haven't heard a single person say they want in for this. Would you spend one year in jail? No. For $5.5 million. No. For $5.5 million, U.S. or Canadian? Oh. Canadian. I don't think I could handle it. Oh. I'd have to go that thing where I just don't shower. What if you get out? I'm pretty sure that when I got out of jail after one year and I had $5.5 million in the bank, that it's not going to be really easy to spend when I'm curled up in a ball in the corner of my house Mm -hmm. crying. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm, I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're gonna uh, No, we are not. You cannot. Uh, <laughs> in the sense of I think I'd make friends. Yeah, bro, uh, your currency. Lifelong friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I could find my Yeah, life. yeah, no, I think we I we we all think you can too now that you said that. Yeah. I would not do well. No, me neither, I would man. not fare well. Oh, I'm I'm scared. You What's know like, how you make friends in prison? <laughs> Six o'clock every night. Oh boy. Free concert for the boys. You sing. You sing out of your cell. You sing out of your cell. Everybody gets locked down. That's a Hail Mary. They're either going to love it or they're going to hate you gotta it. You got to be singing good stuff. I've seen a lot of prison documentaries. I haven't seen anyone do this. I assume <laughs> they would love to hear a concert once a day. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Who wouldn't want to hear live theater? I'm very claustrophobic. I don't think that you could put me in a in a in a sealed coffin and bury me in the ground for 5 hours. For 5.5 with minutes. oxygen for 5.5. I don't think I could do it. That's really? No, I think I could last 10 a, minutes. I'd rather be in a coffin than in a jail cell. Uh, my big, like, if I was given, like, written some sort of way to confirm that, like, you're going to be okay at the end of it, you just got to lay there, I could maybe do it. You give me all the confirmation I was going to be okay. And the minute they sealed that box, I'd be like, nope. Done. Did you see the okay, Mr. Beast video where he did seven days? But that Who? wasn't, like, a coffin. He had, like, more of a room. Yeah, he was, like, in a large coffin but he couldn't like move he could only lay down <laughs> how much to go to jail for that? a year Charles for real to, for me to go to jail for one you full last. year do you have street smarts yeah like that's what I kind of meant you got money to spread around commissary 20 million maybe I think my social skills could. 20 million you wouldn't do it for 18 like come on I don't know I'd have to see the jail this isn't a binding contract it's a bad jail Charles. it's oh. not there are no good jails uh, finished jail is it like maybe one of those jails where like i can get a good day job while i'm in there like i'm working yeah, i can the make wood- the license plate can i do the wood chop thing where i'm like creating things what's no. my backstory what is your backstory you're a guy who's here for a million zillion after a year you get to leave 
Yeah, white collar criminal. Oh, do you know how many days these guys are going to wear me out and be like, when you're out of here, yep. if you don't give my kid $5 million, I'm yep. going to make your everyday hell. Oh, boy. No. I would have spent the $20 million before I even walk out the door. Do I get a TV in my cell? No. No. You do get a celly, but he wants to kill you. Mm. Oh. No, but you like just, it's and you giving me anxiety just thinking about <laughs> yeah, that. Me too. Yeah, I, I would, watched a BBC documentary about the hole, and you can get put in the hole for having too many pencils in your cell. You're like, that's unreasonable. Too many rolls of toilet paper. Oh. You can make weapons out of that. We learned lessons during the pandemic. You ever heard of paper mache? You think you can make a, I think you can make a weapon like no one's business child because you're so crap. Guaranteed. You'd have Figure your how to use the toilet made water. Into a stove and shit. You'd go in and you'd come out with 20 million before the prize money. You'd be yep. selling weapons. Bernard Hopkins, the goal, the, the boxer, invented or like made himself a microwave. In jail? Yeah. I would like a little bit of tinfoil, a shoebox. And that and then he was like, I love it because I can just have warm meals all the time. Okay. I was like, whoa. Talks like OJ. There's a guy on YouTube that <laughs> is like in OJ. prison and he makes like prison documentaries. I don't know how this guy hasn't gotten in trouble, but like he shows you how you cook and like they take wires out of the outlet and attach it to the metal shelf in their cell and it becomes a cooktop. And they're like frying food on their metal bookshelf. Mm-hmm. I saw a guy do that with a sausage on the, the metal toilet. Yeah, mm, but he made nice. a candle out of the toilet paper reserves he had. Not only is it a toilet, Tyler, it's also a sink. And a grill. And a water bottle. If these people just applied themselves the before pool. they got into jail with the smarts that they have in jail, they would My be favorite in jail. is prison Isn't cooking. that irony? Prison what? Cooking. Oh. I follow so many accounts on both Instagram and TikTok of people who just like teach you how they made shit in prison it's a lot of ramen a lot of ramen multiple uses for the ramen a lot of toilet the water from the toilet (laughs) toilet wine toilet wine sometimes yeah toilet wine's a big thing yeah how else are you gonna get crunk (laughs) i think that's how you become popular in prison i have my concert you guys can make toilet wine for everybody now we go to party now we're having a good time it's like a medieval fair Mm mm-hmm everybody's got a job to do you could do your sports stuff (laughs) (laughs) i'll bring the toilet wine a play-by-play for a game that only we, the prisoners, want to see. You better tell us that the Oilers won ten nothing. <laughs> uh, speaking of punishments, I am pretty much caught up on Big Brother. Didn't watch Vito last night, but I've seen everything else, so I'm back in the mix, back in the conversation with the boys. Uh, that Otev competition was hilarious, awesome, almost Stunning. funnier knowing it in advance. Yep, because like Amber was like stunned, and I was like, "This is hilarious the way this is playing out." Um, so that was great. Uh, but did you do the thing that I did though? Like you're watching the episode and you're like, fuck me. We're 50 minutes into this thing. We still haven't started. Yeah, it was, like, yeah, it was like the 35 minute mark. And they're like, let's pick players for the veto. I was like, what? Um, the punishment of having to live in the backyard. It's, Hilarious. It's day, it was day one on Sunday and they were like breaking. You didn't see. So you didn't watch yesterday. No, no, no. Why was Does it so get hard better? for them? They are going crazy. Yeah, they're going nuts. So all they can eat is pizza and ice cream. Right. And then they're doing the big brother thing where it's like but, four in the morning and they call, they wake them up and they got to go have a dance party. Or so every time yeah, song. they have to either sing the song, mm-hmm. dance party, mm-hmm. pizza party, ice cream party. Mm-hmm. And man, they are doing it a lot. Oh yeah. These, they're going crazy. You can see it in their faces. They are ready to break. I like pizza and I like ice cream. This would be easy for me. I don't think I'd shit for mm, weeks after. Pizza, I'd say in the third day. Um, and it's hot right now in California. Mm-hmm. So I think it's like in the mid 30s. And they're like, the outhouses are like baking in the they sun. They have outhouses? And they just sleep on cots. There was that one scene on the Sunday episode where Cam, the football player, just has the freezer open. His head's in the freezer. He's just in the freezer. <laughs> yeah. The one girl's like sitting over top of the, the, the deep freeze for ice cream. Yeah. She's just laying there. Even the even the head of household room is just like upstairs, but they got nothing. Nothing. That's a great twist. They are they are breaking these people right now. It's mm-hmm. crazy. I am curious again. Maybe this happens. Does it affect the strategy at all? Does anyone like Angel is probably not handling this well. Uh, I'm gonna not. Gonna, oh. I'm gonna be honest. Angela is probably handling it better than anybody really? in this house. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah. She did. She had a weird little bit of a redemption arc in that competition. She had. Nine hours and 37 minutes of and holding. And then just be like, you know what? You guys earned it. That's crazy. Yeah. I know. I don't know. She's, she's, no, the conversation hasn't been like nobody 
of her age group, her age bracket, has ever made it this far. What about Cliff? Who was Cliff? Cliff went deep that one year in BB. Uh, deep. Like also, it's not, not Big Brother USA, but the one year, the two guys that were really good on Big Brother Canada dragged the senior citizen lady all the way to the end, and she <laughs> made the final three, and it was like the worst finale ever because it was like two guys who were qualified, and this lady wouldn't, hadn't won a comp once, but there was a funny scene with her where she was walking into the backyard in the morning or into like the hot tub area on big brother Canada. And she's just like la, da, 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 walking. And then all of a sudden she stops. And she just goes, I just like threw up all over the floor. Oh. And just like, mm. and just like kept walking out. And I was like, da, 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 da. Oh dear. Yeah, that was funny. Show me those Montana boys, Charles. All right. There. I will. Good episode guys. That's it. Yeah. I got to piss. So once again, we talked no hockey, well, 784 yeah. have been seized from who well, said that? We could probably clip this a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, good pod. <laughs> See you later, everybody. <laughs> What's up, Nation citizens? If you like that video, then you need to be subscribed to the Oilers Nation YouTube. Podcasts, live shows, exclusive interviews and analysis, everything you need from your favorite voices at Oilers Nation. And you don't want to miss any of it, so hammer that subscribe button.